everybody, welcome back to my weekly Aldi haul. I would say this week is a slightly larger haul, partly because I bought some extra food for my partner's mother, and also because I was stocking up on some vegetables. We are going to try and make some slightly healthier decisions in our eating patterns. Um, it's actually more that I'm making the decision and my partner's along for the ride since I do the grocery shopping. Uh, so this week we do plan to make um, chicken packets. It's an Asian dish I found online and also some stir-fried um, chicken, white meat chicken. Um, among, and the other thing I want to make is I think chicken and tofu. Um, basically a stir-fry for that too. So anyways, let's get started with the haul. So because I'm making Asian dishes, green onions, um, especially for the chicken and the packets, um, go really great with those. And then for stir fry, you put it in on top as a garnish and maybe towards the end, you don't need to cook them very long. And then we have here some yellow onions. Um, these, like I said, I buy every couple weeks because they do last quite a while and I don't necessarily need, you know, that many onions in one week. Um, I have here some red onions. Um, these are actually for my partner's mother. She wanted some red onions specifically, so that's for her. Um, same with these green peppers. She wanted some of these um, green peppers. I still have a couple of green peppers left over from last week, so I didn't need to buy that. But I did buy us uh, some of this sunset red and orange peppers or sweet peppers so that's going to be for our stir fry we could put in our sandwiches uh, very versatile now for one of the stir fry I'm making with the white meat chicken I'm going to throw in um, this classic coleslaw mix it helps bulk up the meal without adding a whole lot of, of calories or, or anything to it then of course mushrooms are great inside of any kind of stir fry now it was 10 cents more to buy these sliced mushrooms as opposed to whole mushrooms, but call me lazy, I prefer somebody else to slice my mushrooms, so I spent a dime to get my mushrooms sliced. Okay, now for lunch we've been taking yogurts um, as long, along with our sandwiches. This week we decided no more chips with our sandwiches, so for the yogurt I bought two of each of these. This is the raspberry on bottom strawberry on bottom, blueberry, and peach on bottom. Now, for the sandwiches themselves, I still have leftover um, chicken breast and a little bit of salami and turkey. So I bought a little extra salami. This is more for my partner. He really likes the salami in the sandwich. And then for chicken, since I don't need a whole lot, I bought this one. It's a little bit more expensive for the 8 ounces, but it should be plenty for the week. And this one is interesting because it's buffalo-flavored sliced uh, style chicken breast. So we have buffalo chicken breast, salami, and then leftover turkey, um, chicken breast, and a little bit of salami. Now I also have a lot of that 12 grain bread left, so I didn't buy that, but we're almost out of deli rolls, so I bought the Love and Fresh 6 deli rolls for my partner because he's really, really liking the sandwiches and that when I stuff it full of vegetables and meats and a couple of cheeses. Okay, so for our sandwiches, once again, the spring mix. Um, my alfalfa sprout came out very well, thank you, but it's not that much. I only have two packets left, but they're really good in addition to your, um, you know, in this case, spring mix and onions and green peppers to so just bulk up a sandwich. Um, as you can see next to it, I have my flat leaf spinach. I had to get my spinach because I did try the broccoli sprouts in a smoothie and I will be honest, it was absolutely disgusting. It tasted like I was drinking a smoothie that was a mixture of broccoli and fruit. And, you know, at least with the spinach, you don't taste it, but the broccoli sprouts, you could taste it. So I'm going to keep buying my spinach and I'm just going to use the broccoli sprouts to spruce up my sandwiches even more. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're trying to make healthier decisions. So instead of a lot of chips and all that other stuff I usually buy, uh, I bought us some blueberries and some fresh seedless grapes. And later on, we're going to go to another grocery, the Asian grocery store and I'll buy some of the, the really good sliced mango that they have. And as I was mentioning with my smoothie, um, I bought this time the non-fat Greek yogurt 
and then some fat-free half and half. This is all part of that new mindful eating plan I'm on. So these two are for my smoothies in addition to my usual berry medley, which I love. And this time I got tropical blend versus mixed fruit. Okay, then we have also for my smoothie skim milk here. Um, once again, one for my healthier choices. And then, let's see, right next to it, I have two bottles of fit and active drink. One is a lemonade and the other is strawberry lemonade. Now, I actually just drink mostly water, but every so often since I do want to drink with flavor, I thought these would be pretty good choices because they're only about five calories per serving. And it literally takes me days to drink that one bottle. Okay, then I have here some eggs. This is also for the partner, my partner's mother. She requested eggs along with the green pepper. And she also requested some of this beef bouillon cube, so I got her the chef's cupboard. Um, she didn't request this active dry yeast, but since it was so hard at the height of the pandemic to find yeast, um, his sister actually needed some yeast, so I thought, I'll just buy a, a strip of these and she can keep it on hand in case she ever gets into the bread making mode again. Um, his mother, who doesn't eat any pork, wanted some turkey bacon, so I got her two of this smoke and cured turkey bacon by Appleton Farms. Now, I usually eat their regular bacon, and it's really good, so I have no doubt that the turkey would be just as tasty. Now, for my chicken packets this week, um, I want to use chicken thighs, so these are just boned chicken thighs, and these are pretty good price. It's 99 cents a pound, so... This is plenty probably for two dinners. And so with this dish, you basically cook the chicken thigh in its own packet with its own juices from the marinade and some green onions on top. And, um, you know, it's, and it's flavored with Asian sauces. We've been on an Asian kick lately. Okay, and then we have here the usual soda for my partner. He will not uh, agree to just drinking nothing but water. So we have the 12 cans of citrus twist this week since we haven't had it in a couple weeks and then for snacks i got him the usual unsalted roasted pistachios because well roasted pistachios are better than pringles and utz chips and everything else so this is my whole haul for the week as you can see i went heavy on the veggies and the fruit to try and be a little smarter with our eating this week so wish me luck hope Hopefully my new eating patterns will pan out somehow. And I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And I will see you next week. Take care. Bye.